<laughs> Hello, gang. <laughs> so you're all right. Yeah, take me a joke then. Uh, when I was about 14, my mate bought the album The Who Live in Leeds. But I misread it and said, there's no way the Who live in Leeds. <laughs> Ray Parker Jr. once sang, I Ain't Afraid of No Ghosts, which sounds very brave, until you remember, of course, that that's a double negative. <laughs> so what he's actually saying is, I am afraid of some ghosts. <laughs> Which, if anything, only awards in the bravery of any normal man. I went to university just up the road, actually, at the London Guildhall University, and there I did a degree that was called Communications and Audio Visual Production Studies. And if you don't know what that means, then it's basically the same as media studies. <laughs> And if you don't know what media stuff is, <coughs> and it's basically like the hardest degree you can do. <laughs> and as a result of my media studies degree, I now work in a bookshop. <laughs> and if you work in a bookshop, the main thing that people say to you is they go, oh, must be brilliant working in a bookshop. I bet you just read all the books all day. You wouldn't say that to someone that worked in a clothes shop, would you? <laughs> you wouldn't say, well, what do you do for a living? I go, well, I work in HMV, uh, H&M. You go, oh, <coughs> must be brilliant working in H&M. I bet you just wear all the clothes. <laughs> you must be boiling. <laughs> <laughs> um, a couple of years ago, I was on a bus where I live, and it was at the time of the volcanic ash cloud fiasco. And there were two girls who were about 18 or 19 years old who were sat at the front of that bus who were discussing it. And one of them asked the other one a question about it because it did seem strange that in these days of night flights and sonar radars that planes could be prevented from taking off and landing just due to some volcanic ash. I even think that a perfectly reasonable question for any 18 or 19 year old girl to ask could have been to say, what is volcanic ash? If I'm honest, I had no idea myself. But the question that this 18 or 19 year old girl chose to ask her mate was, what's a volcano? <laughs> <laughs> That's unfair, because as it turned out, of the pair of them, she was very much the brains of the operation. <laughs> Because her mate explained that a volcano was basically a giant triangular rock, she said, that llamas shoot out. <laughs>